is a lot of, a lot of integrity and passion about beliefs. Uh, that's foremost, and uh, I think that comes down to character. Now, you could have those those really strong beliefs that are that are good and right, but it doesn't transfer that you are right and good in all areas of your personality. He's flawed, just like I am and just like everybody else is. But the thing that is important is his, uh, is his, his, his passion and, and, and right. He, would, uh, he, he, he uh, exhibited that when we fought CBS. They were wrong to try to throttle us and restrict us. Uh, and he would, be, he would fight for underdogs. That's what he liked. I remember he came out for McGovern in the presidential campaign, but only after he was sure McGovern wouldn't win. <laughs> I think that's a little bit of it, you know. But he, he uh, if there's somebody getting picked on, Tommy would be in there to protect him. And uh, that's, that is a really a core value that is important. A lot of people, uh, and when th things go, go poorly, that's when character, it's easy to be good when it's fine, and everything's going fine. But uh, when things weren't going fine, Tommy just dug in and fought harder for his beliefs. And sometimes that's not practical. I think in some ways he's impractical that way. And uh, per, in his personal life, uh, oh, also in the professional life, he's, he's, a, he's a perfectionist. And a perfectionist, is only a per, to me a perfectionist is someone who sees it only his way. <laughs> there ain't there. There's no such thing as perfection. Uh, Jerry Lewis had that problem. I remember he did a show where he had to write it, almost write it, direct it, light it, produce it, do everything. And what do you do? You get something that's that doesn't have the 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 genesis of many I, creative minds coming from different different directions to make it great. Sometimes, but also, the other point is committee decisions are to the lowest level of the committee. The unique individuals can excel. But in, when you're working with, say, 100 or 200 people in a show, there's more than one idea of perfection. And in comedy, when I work with Tommy, he has a tendency to see things. We're getting better since we went to couples counseling, but he tends to, to see things generally his way, I think. And... Uh, I see things as my straight man way. I can't get the laughs Tommy gets. I, I've never had them. I get them in the show, but if, uh, like when I, I do uh, uh, supposedly motivational speeches, <laughs> I go out and talk to people and uh, show them tape and tell them about our life. And I, I'll get some laughs there, but I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not presented as a comedian. Uh, and I see things very strong in my way in the act. And we are now after 42 years, working a lot, with a lot more compromises. Uh, when we were starting out, uh, we, had to, we didn't know where we were going, or why we were there, why it was funny. Um, and I slowly got into talking and, uh, and becoming, uh, carrying more weight. And we realized that the comedian has to be less heard uh, and the straight man set things up better, and then he'll be funnier. You know, we learn the balance of the. So we're learning, we're working better. But I think Tommy has a tendency to, and and sometimes what I, what I really think he has to work on is once he sets his mind, he, he it may be an emotional decision, and a fact won't the facts won't change it. And uh, I don't find that uh, good. I don't find that attractive. I don't like that. But it's it's by far. Uh, I mean that as, a, as, a, as a sort of nitpicking because the character, the, the character of a person is the most important thing there is. There's nothing else. And uh, it's like rep, your reputation is what people think you are. Your character is what you really are. And there are people that had their, their reputation soiled who have really fine characters. And sometimes your reputation is out of your hands. But Tommy's core self is very admirable. And then he has these wonderful little defects that makes him a personality. And uh, I think uh, where uh, I've, I've grown in the last number of years is that I've learned that denial doesn't make it true. <laughs> I, I, once I stopped drinking six years ago, I, I did the 12-step program, and I, denial is just, God, it's an evil thing. And uh, 
A lot of us deny that there's another point of view. A lot of us deny we only want it because we want it our way. We, 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 we create a scenario that makes it right for us to demand our way instead of opening ourselves up. And I think uh, even though Tommy doesn't like to uh, admit it, that's, that's where my strength is. I've always been a team player. I had to. You know, there's no market for a straight man. You don't, you don't, you don't see an ad in Variety, hey, out of work straight man looking for funny guy. It doesn't work. Uh, look at George Burns. After Gracie died, he tried uh, Connie Stevens, I believe. And she's a very talented lady. That wasn't Gracie, and the, and, the, and, the, and the personalities didn't make something great. And Tommy and I together are great. And what makes us even greater or, or better or closer to our potential is that I get to have my honest responses to his, his thoughts. And that's where we're good. Not uh, he, do, he does something and then he tells me how I'm supposed to react because that's the comedian thinking it. Now, what, what, the way we work best is when he suggests that and I suggest something and we try it different ways and we say, whatever works. But it's, uh, I think great people though, and I put Tommy in, 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 that, in that frame of mind, to be really creative and powerful and, and, and great, you, you have, a, have to have a tendency to think your perfectionism is the best way. So it's, it's not a, a clear, clear thing. You know, it's good and it's bad. It's good when it works, it's bad, but you may alienate a lot of people. Sometimes it's not good to be around great people because they're no fun. <laughs> they gotta have it their way. You know, they're having a great time because they're driving the bus. But, uh, so Tommy, Tommy from that standpoint, now, he's compassionate. He just loves his kids, he loves family. And uh, he, has, he has very creative friends. You could judge people by the people they want to, I hate to use the word judge, but you could, you can learn a lot about a person by the people they, they like being around, and Tommy's around generally creative people.